Hello, uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to test predictive validity um, of your FSQCA results using uh, propensity score matching. Um, so based on this paper and a bunch of other researchers, uh, if you obtain one model from one sample somehow, um, you need to test the predictive validity of your model because your model is based on one sample. So the way you do it is to test this model with additional sample. Now in a previous FSQCA uh, video, I demonstrate to you how to test predictive validity using uh, subsamples, which is you randomly split your original sample into two subsamples. One is a subsample and another is a holdout sample. Uh, now in this video, I'm going to show you a second method of testing predictive validity, which is using um, propensity score matching. Um, so let's get started by searching propensity score matching. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do an SPSS. So if you watch, um, if you just watch, uh, watch any YouTube video on this topic, you will see a lot of people suggesting you to install a SPSS plugin for R. Um, so here's the thing: in SPSS, um, let me open the original. Just let me just close all this. Uh, this is. A Um, so if you um, just randomly open a SPSS uh, data file, uh, you will see that um, many SPS, many versions of SPSS come with a propensity score matching analysis button, which is uh, inside data label, and it's just called propensity score matching. But uh, you will also see that it requires the statistics regression module and the Python essentials. And you need the um, fuzzy bundle uh, on or above the uh, version 1.3.0. Now, if you uh, have that Python essential installed, when you install your SPSS, and you're, you're perfect, you're, you're all set. You just, use this, um, you just use this dialogue and you go ahead. But um, today I'm going to show you another um, method which I prefer is to use um, SPSS Essentials for R. Um, so that's, that's, that's recommended in one of these videos. Um, and if you just click any of this video, you will see that you need, th basically you need three things. First, of course, you need SPSS. And you need to know the version of your SPSS. In this video, I'm going to show you um, using my SPSS version 24. Uh, second, you need to install, um, if you're using the, the, uh, the, the, the plugin uh, that was programmed in R language, then you do need to install R. Now, for SPSS 24, uh, it is recommended to install R 2.2.0. Uh, if you have other versions of SPSS, then you need to install other versions of R. Now, three uh, is to you need to install the uh, essential SPSS essentials for R um, that has the uh, integration plugins for R. So, where can you get that? Uh, you can just Google um, SPSS essentials for R, and you can download it from IBM for free. But um, you might need to register in order to download this, uh, this, this bundle. So, let's see, um, the IBM gives you tutorial. Uh, it says first click here and download it. Uh, and then second, log into your IBM ID and password, but do not have the ID, create ID. And then uh, forget about this. Uh, this, this, um, this help page, it tells you to download the version 22, but if you have SPSS version 24, obviously you need to download SPSS um, IBM Statistics version 24 essentials for R version, right? Um, so let me just show you how to do that. 
Uh, so first you need to sign up for one since I already have a email. Um, I already have an account, so just gonna log into my account. Uh, now the tricky part I experienced is actually not so much about the downloads. Um, I had a problem with install the uh, the the extent the essential. So uh, oh, step three is actually uh, you need to uh, install a a bundle uh, that's called. Uh, so I want to do propensity score matching. So you actually need to download propensity score matching uh, SPE. You need an SPE file um, from from SourceForge.net. Uh, it's pretty solid this website, so I'm um, recommend to download it from there. Um, it's a SPE file, um, so the so you just click download and uh, and you will download you will download that bundle. Um, the problem I had when I tried to install that bundle um, from here, um, let's see, download. Yeah, I, I download there. When I try to install this SPE uh, bundle, uh, the problem I had is that it, it says that you have to, the SPSS shows a warning message. It says you um, you need to install, uh, you need to install integration plugin for R. That's how it says. Um, let's, let me just type it here. Integration plugin. For R, it says you need to install this first before you can install that bundle. Uh, well, I I downloaded and I installed that um, that integration plugin, which was part of the uh, that was part of the, the the essentials for R package. So I downloaded it here, right? Um, I installed the R essentials. Um, I also un uh, unzipped this uh, folder, so I thought I was all set, but no. Um, SPS wouldn't install the uh, propensity score matching bundle um, because of lack of uh, there's a lack of installation of the integration plugins for R. So how I solved this problem is that I closed out of the SPSS and I actually. To, um, I actually went into the the folder where my SPSS was installed. So you can see uh, it's in my C drive, program files, IBM, SPSS, uh, Statistic 24. And uh, uh, the way I did it is that I organized all the files based on the category. And I go to the the uh, exact uh, exe files, and I find my SPSS uh, software. This one, see, it's it's this exe file. I open this one up, okay, and then I install the SPE uh, bundle through there. Um, I still had a problem. Uh, I still had a problem with the uh, the LME4 package from R, um, but that did not interfere into my data analysis, so that's all right. So I installed the bundle from here, and it worked. Okay, so um, yeah, you need the you need to download this one of the things. Oh. Uh, Ignore the server thing. That's when you when you're running SPSS from a server machine. If you're using just the individual machine, you know, like a desktop, a laptop, uh, then you just need um, IBM SPSS statistics and choose a version that matches with your SPSS version. So my SPSS version 24. So I downloaded this one, Essentials for R. Um, so that's it for this tutorial. Um, leave me a question if you have any, and uh, please check out my other videos.